Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be working on three pages of my sketchbook and this sketchbook has helped me a lot. My main art goal for this year has been to experiment with different art supplies and to get out of my comfort zone with different art styles and ideas that I've never even tried or considered before. And it's been amazingly fun. From cyberpunk to fantasy creatures to nature sketches that led to even larger projects. So I thought for this video it would be nice to relax and record three pages where I'm using three different mediums and three different styles. And as you can see, on this page I wanted to go back to using graphite. This is something that I'm a bit more familiar with, so it's not necessarily out of my comfort zone, but it's been quite a long time since I last tried some realistic sketches. Recently I've continued to use graphite, but only for rough sketches and planning before working on projects with different materials. So I thought it would be nice to spend a bit more time with graphite and draw a few eyes on this page, challenging myself to render some smaller details. I didn't realise how long it had been since I last worked on some detailed graphite drawings. This year I spent quite a lot of time practising with Posca paint pens, trying out different drawing ideas and combining them with other art supplies I like to use. And Poscas are so different from the art supplies I'm more familiar with. I've really loved the challenge of trying drawings with them because the process is so different and such a change from my usual drawing routine. And it felt really refreshing to go back to graphite, just drawing like this after all this time. Getting back into the routine of shading and blending the shading with blending sticks, using a small eraser to add some fine highlights, and repeating the processes to render and refine the details.
On the next page, I wanted to try an art supply that I struggle with a lot more, and that's watercolour. Last year I spent much more time trying to add watercolour to some of my drawings, using it for some of the background details. And that experience definitely helps me to feel a little bit more comfortable with it. And I really love using watercolour, so I've been determined to improve my ability. With the changing seasons, I've been feeling much more inspired, and there's something about this time of year where the leaves are beginning to change colour, with all the beautiful yellows and oranges and reds. For me, this part of the year is where I feel definitely my most creative. And it's been an amazing year for sunflowers. We had some in our garden, and with the seasons changing, they're all starting to fade. And there was one that caught my eye, and I made sure to get some reference photos. I immediately knew I wanted to try a watercolour painting. I think another reason I'm feeling more creative is because I've started to feel a bit better, and more positive than I had been feeling. As some of you might know, my cat Smudge passed away in May. And he was almost 16 years old, and he'd been struggling with diabetes for four years. And for those four years, I'd been in a constant routine of giving him his two insulin injections every day. So he was always by my side, and even when I was drawing, he was right there next to me. Uh, so it's taking me quite a long time to adjust to him not being here anymore, and... It's really been tough. He was my best friend, and I'm, I'm so proud of him for doing as well as he did. I'll always miss him, and it honestly always felt like he was the one that was looking after me. <laughs> and here's a photo of his really lovely face. And after that, I felt that it was important for me to look after myself a bit. It's been a tough year for so many people, and for so many different reasons, and I really hope you're doing okay. Um, I've just realised that if I want to be helpful, and if I want to create more art, I definitely need to start looking after myself a bit better, mentally and physically. I've always enjoyed running, so I've been keeping up with that, and I've started eating better and working out more. But the thing that's had the biggest impact was fixing my sleep schedule, because it was completely out of control before. <laughs> so getting up earlier in the morning and going outside, I've recently been trying out some wildlife cameras, and I'm excited to check them each day. As I mentioned in my last video, it meant the world to me to finally see a black fox for the first time. They're incredibly rare, and they're so beautiful. And I also recently saw a muntjac deer for the first time. They went right up to the camera, it was so cool. They're a tiny deer species, and they only grow to about 50 centimeters in height. So, getting up earlier and appreciating nature like this has been helping me a lot with my creativity. I'm also taking part in Inktober at the moment, so there's lots of sketchbook drawings happening. I actually have another sketchbook for that. So, very busy with lots of drawings this month, and it's been awesome so far.
On the third page, I decided to try another Posca drawing. And previously with Posca pens, I've tried drawing characters and fantasy creatures. So I thought I would try something different as a challenge, and I wanted to try a landscape. So I spent a bit of time sketching and planning the layers. I found that working with Posca pens is a lot like using acrylic paint, so it helps to take the time to think about which layers you're going to add first. It's always fun to try new art supplies, and I feel like I've tried drawings this year that I never would have even thought of trying if it wasn't for trying out these pens first, and realising how different they were from all the other art supplies I'd been using before. And that's why I highly recommend trying out different art supplies if you get a chance. It's good because it challenges you to approach drawings in a different way, and I found it to help me a lot with inspiration and finding new ideas to work on. For example, when I tried out Posca pens for the first time earlier this year, it inspired me to try out cyberpunk art for the first time, and that's something completely new to me, and it's been so fun. It also inspired me to try drawing on a large piece of wood in my previous video, and I'm so proud of that project because it was so out of my comfort zone, and I ended up feeling really happy with the result. Uh, larger projects like that feel like amazingly positive stepping stones. Now that I know that I can do that, I'm looking forward to attempting more large projects like it in the future. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for the extremely kind feedback on the larger drawings and videos I've been attempting this year. It truly does mean a lot to me, and it feels so nice to share these exciting projects with you. I really hope you enjoyed watching this, I've loved trying out different ideas in this sketchbook, and it was so nice to try out three different mediums and three different styles for this video. Be sure to let me know what you think of these three pages, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future drawings or videos I should try. If you'd like to see more art videos like this then feel free to subscribe to this channel, and any likes or shares on this video are hugely appreciated. If you want to follow and support my art progress, then be sure to check out the links in the description for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing okay, and I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you all soon.